The FDA says it found particles of the bird flu virus in samples of pasteurized milk. The agency says milk is still safe to drink, but additional testing is needed to confirm. It comes as officials continue to track the spread of the deadly H5N1 strain. At least eight states have reported the virus in their cows. NBC News medical fellow Dr. Akshay Sayal joins us now because I bet you have some questions about this one. All right, yeah. so we know milk goes through the pasteurization process, which is supposed to kill germs, supposed to kill viruses. So how are we still finding finding traces of this in some of these samples and a lot of people are saying really this is safe to drink yeah i mean joe the amount of texts i've gotten you know is, should i throw out my milk what do i do when i go to the grocery store yeah. a lot of people concerned when they saw these push alerts go out yesterday and i think you know the way to understand this is when you're talking about uh, viruses you know we, we talk about viral fragments or pieces of the virus doesn't necessarily mean it's infectious um so when you talk about the pasteuriz uh, pasteurization process it doesn't exactly remove things it just kills them um so if you were to test a lot of milk today you would find things like e coli for example in them but oh. it doesn't mean it's infectious it just means it happens to be there uh, but it's dead i mean that's what we think is going on with the bird here and you know the big caveat is that the FDA is actually going to be performing these tests to confirm that it's not infectious but you know pasteurization works for all other forms of viruses there's no reason to think it wouldn't work for this well so does that mean that in during this time we should be concerned or not as we're waiting to hear from the FDA on that don't throw testing out, process. You know, by, by all accounts, don't throw out your milk. We're not, we're not there yet. Uh, both the, the FDA is saying this and a bunch of independent virologists or, or vi uh, virus experts are saying this, people we've come to rely on over the years through the pandemic. So it's absolutely safe uh, to keep drinking your milk right now. No reason for alarm in that, in that regard. A remind us, only one person has tested positive for bird flu so far, right? So that's an important context in all of this. What are the symptoms? What, what, how worried should people be? So the symptoms of bird flu, they, they, they're very nonspecific, meaning they can be the same as a bunch of other viruses. So, you know, we have some symptoms here. The big caution is that if you have these symptoms, they are more than likely caused by something else. Um, but there are things like sore throat, headaches, fatigue. You can get redness of the eyes. And the most concerning one, guys, that, that when they're difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, if you have that, whether or not it's the bird flu, you should seek medical attention. But, but there's a, a certain exposure you probably would have had, right? Ex exactly. Farm workers, particularly the ones we're most worried about right now. Mm. Are we worried about the fact that we are seeing it in cows? What does that tell us about how this is spreading? Yeah, so, you know, even though we have the, just the viral fragments, which we think are not infectious, it didn't come out of nowhere, right? It had to it had to get in there somehow. And the concern is, guys, that this outbreak in cows may be more widespread than we think. And if cows are, are testing positive in the milk and they're asymptomatic, really, we don't know how far this thing may have, may have spread in, in terms of livestock. All right. Dr. Akshay Sayal, as always, thank you so much. Yes, Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.